Chapter fifty seven of the Bible for Young People, Volume One. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Chapter fifty seven The Brazen Serpent. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord, and against thee pray unto the lord that he take away the serpents from us and moses prayed for the people and the lord said unto moses make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole and it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten when he looketh upon it shall live and moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole and it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And Israel sent messengers unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, saying, Let me pass through thy land. We will not turn into the fields or into the vineyards. We will not drink of the waters of the well. But we will go along by the king's highway until we be past thy borders. And Sihon would not suffer Israel to pass through his borders, but Sihon gathered all his people together, and went out against Israel into the wilderness. And he came to Jahaz, and fought against Israel. And Israel smote him with the edge of the sword, and possessed his land from Anon unto Jabbok, even unto the children of Ammon. For the border of the children of Ammon was strong. And Israel took all these cities. And Israel dwelt in all these cities of the Amorites, in Heshbon, and in all the villages thereof. Thus Israel dwelt in the land of the Amorites, and they turned and went up by the way of Bashan. And Og the king of Bashan went out against them, he and all his people, to the battle of Edrei. And the Lord said unto Moses, Fear him not, for I have delivered him into thy hand, and all his people, and his land, and thou shalt do to him as thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. So they smote him, and his sons, and all his people, until there was none left him alive, and they possessed his land. End of chapter 57